The biggest secrets in the martial arts are not hidden. They're right in plain sight. If you really want to excel in the martial arts, you have to be teachable. You have to be trainable. And you have to be tough. Many people fail in the martial arts only because they're not teachable. Teachable means you can focus your mind. You can listen. You can sit still and watch. Your heart is open, your mind is open. You are always ready to take in the knowledge. You're always ready to listen, to see a little deeper. You're consistent and you're patient. Trainable means we can give you instructions and you stick with them. It also means if we're doing 500 punches, you will stick it out. If we're doing 50 push-ups, you will stick it out. If we're doing 30 minutes of stretching, you can stick it out. If we're doing 10 minutes of meditation, you can stick it out. It doesn't seem very complicated. But most people have a very difficult time doing any of that. The master directs the students to do a 10 minute meditation. Within three minutes, many minds are wandering and bodies are fidgeting. They can't even keep the body still. They become anxious. Um, in some way, it's almost a form of mental illness. A light form, but it is a type of mental illness. When your mind cannot be at rest, at ease, still or quiet for even three minutes. It's like having a mental cold, as opposed to a mental flu or a mental cancer. If the student sticks it out, and keeps working, they can get past that point. And the same with endurance, stamina, strength. Martial arts will always be challenging. If it's not challenging, what are we really doing? Which brings me to the third part, being tough. You gotta be tough, and that's all there is to it. Those who are not tough do not excel in the martial arts. Those who are not tough do not stick it out. Being tough is a choice. We choose to be tough or not tough. We, we choose how much we can really take. We decide how much do we think this is worth. Those who think it's worth a lot will put a lot into it. Those who think it's not worth much won't put much into it. You have to have physical toughness. And yes, that's a challenge. You have to have mental toughness. That's a greater challenge. You have to have emotional toughness. That's even a far greater challenge. But you even have to have spiritual toughness. Spirit. The spirit is divided into two parts, will and desire. Will 
is the vehicle or the rocket. Desire is the fuel. You need both. There are yin and yang. There are yang and yin. You need both to make this journey. If the will is strong, but desire is weak, that rocket will not go very far. These are the students that start out very strong. And people are like, wow, look at this. This person has talent. They're going to be an awesome black belt. They're going to be incredible. And two or three months later, never to be seen or heard of again. Ran out of fuel. But then there's the opposite side. The student with lots of desire, but very little will. They come. They sound so motivated, so enthusiastic. They actually sign up one they pay for three years up front. Plan to come every day. Plan to spend two and three hours training. Already looking for their first test. Yet, two or three months down the line, They're gone. All that fuel just burnt up. Poof. All of that desire. And they may still have even more desire. They find some way of keep finding more fuel, but they just don't have the will. They have the fuel without the rocket. Just can't quite take off. But they can make a bright light. A big poof. But that's just it. A big poof. And then it's done. So, you have to have toughness physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually. The will and desire is very challenging for most. It's very tricky, yet it's very simple. You must have the right reason or reasons for training. The reason why you do anything affects how you do anything. That is why when someone has a deep desire and that desire is based on self-preservation meaning they know of several people who've had very unfortunate events been injured or killed. This changes their mindset. It changes their emotional makeup. It changes their reason for doing what they're doing. Their reason for, for training. The desire is always there. And the will is going to keep it together but it has a different meaning now. Those are students that come from the red. Then we have those that come from the blue, which is also good. Maybe most of their life, they were searching for answers answers about themselves 
Who am I? What do I want? What can I be? What can I do? How strong am I? Or maybe it's I've always wanted to be stronger. Better. I've always known there was something deep inside of me just waiting to come out. A special part of me. Some hidden talents, hidden strengths, hidden magic. And I've never had the opportunity to explore that. And now, for the first time in my life, I do. They found it. They found the possibility in the martial arts. And that ignited the fuel inside of them. And that galvanized all the parts of their rocket ship. The will and desire came together strongly. Their vehicle is solid and their fuel is plentiful. Their will and desire are strong and in harmony. They have spiritual toughness. So if we do not have the spiritual toughness, the emotional toughness, the mental toughness, and the physical toughness, it doesn't matter how great your martial art is. It does not matter how great your teacher is. It doesn't matter how wonderful or great the school is. Because it all starts with you. It begins and it ends with you. It's the student that opens the way. The master merely points the way. The school just opens the path. It's the student's responsibility and challenge to walk that path to stay on that path and to complete their personal journey. <laughs>